back after a little over a month off. Um, I haven't really fished a, a real tournament since that Santee Cooper tournament. It's about a month ago. Um, we're up on Kerr Lake. So tomorrow is the second North Carolina BFL. Said earlier, we're trying to fish all those to get into the Santee Cooper Regional uh, a little bit closer to home. And so unfortunately we got to make a bunch of four hour drives like I just made for Kerr Lake uh, for a bunch of one day tournaments just to try to get into it. But hopefully it'll be worth it by the end of the year. Uh, I've been on Kerr once before, it was last May. I fished that Bassmaster Open that was up here. Kind of has like an asterisk next to that one though because <laughs> i didn't really practice and i had also just torn my acl a few weeks before and pretty much couldn't really walk uh, so i was just kind of crawling around the boat and, uh, it was a little bit rough a little bit later so i don't know exactly what the lake's gonna set up like uh, it's blowing like crazy today i actually think i'm just kind of idling with the wind to hopefully uh, cut out some of the wind noise for this but uh, it's blowing like crazy today it's gonna blow like crazy tomorrow Looks like the, I mean, the water out here is 57. So, I mean, my guess is some of the fish have probably spawned. Some of the fish um, definitely haven't spawned and won't spawn, obviously, I don't think this weekend, uh, given the conditions. It looks like next week, uh, if you're a local up here, a little bit calmer, some 85 degree days. Uh, I think it'll be prime time for maybe looking for something over here. Real, real shallow. But uh, that being said, I actually haven't even checked the water level. It looks like it's, uh, in some of the bushes so maybe not quite flooded but it's definitely up i'm gonna kind of run around just for a few hours uh you know i, I took the day to come up here and you know check out the lake i think we got to come back up here in three weeks here we launch out of the completely other end of the lake as well so i haven't seen any of this stuff that's that's close to the takeoff of the bfl so it'll be a good day to kind of run around and see what we can find A nice flattering angle. Put it on upside down. Try not to drop it in the water. There's one. Holy crap, we got a bite. I'm trying to get him to let it go, but I don't think he's gonna. I can't resist. It's like if he would have spit it, you know, right away. Well, I skipped that up there and watched him get it, so. They do exist. Nice one. Two and a half at least. Chunk. Little floating worm. Hmm. Yeah, he wanted it. Something 
guy. Happy I set the hook on him. See my line going down through the tree. Babies. Well, that's a bite. I went to like itch my ear and I just kind of stopped. So that wraps up uh, my practice day here at Kerr Lake for the BFL tomorrow. Um, got about five, six hours out there. I feel as uncomfortable about it as I did maybe a year ago when I was here for the open. It just doesn't feel like there's a ton of fish. I know I'm lucky I get to fish Murray all the time. And whether you're on the bank or you like, you put the down and start looking with your graph, like you're gonna see tons of them. It's just not the case here. Like if you go out and go scoping, a lot of it just seems like a big wasteland you get up on the bank and you know bites are few and far between obviously the conditions not great they're not going to be great tomorrow but like i said we're in it for the points the four hour drives up here kind of stink but um hopefully it'll be worth it this fall